Yes. Hi everyone, welcome back to An Artist Travels. Uh, so I make fun, motivational videos for young creatives here on YouTube. So welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to discuss today's topic, which is how and why you should create your own showreel. <laughs> So there's an age old conundrum that pretty much every actor I've spoken to has discussed or faced at one point in time. It's like the chicken and egg sort of actor edition problem. And so that is number one, you need a professional showreel so that you can get onto professional productions, uh, professional film productions. And number two, you kind of need those professional film productions to get that professional showreel. So you see the problem. So how do we overcome this? Well, I think a great answer to that is actually filming your own. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how I filmed my own professional showreel and saved myself a lot of time, a lot of money, um, perhaps a lot of stress in doing so. So obviously my situation is probably different from your situation. Your situation is going to be different from the next person's situation. Everyone is different. But what I hope this video does is gives you some key points and things to think about. You can adapt it, make it your own, and then make your own showreel. Sound good? I'm going to split this up in two different sections. So it's going to be the who, the why, the where, the how, and the when. There we go. Why do you need a showreel? Why should you shoot your own? So essentially a showreel is almost like your acting CV in a way. When you want to send it off to casting directors, to agents and so forth, they just need some clips that show that you can do what you say you can do, that you can act. That's all a showreel is. So there is nothing stopping you from creating some short, simple scenes that look great and that display your acting talent. That's all it is. So there are some showreel companies, you pay them like 600, 700 pounds. They'll shoot like one or two scenes for you. They'll edit together in a reel, done, you're good. For me, it seems more logical to do something that I know is gonna turn out looking really good um, rather than paying like an extortionate amount of money to, I have seen some showreel companies is that like their scripts nah 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 you might be in a situation like I was in where you've done a lot of professional acting you've had like loads of professional acting experience and um, but you don't have a show reel and this might be because you've done a lot of theatre for me that was the case like I sat down and I was like rah I've been performing for years man like I've done like shows like like big ones like like Wembley Arena and Royal Albert Hall and like even like you know like touring productions I've performed in the UK I've performed abroad and I was like rah I actually don't have a showreel because I've done so much theatre and often wait wait for the car and oftentimes the showreels that people are looking for are more from film productions so you can go like the whole like student film route and short film route it takes a long time to get the footage back if you even get them at all and sometimes I have to be honest student films will have one element that is lacking um, so for example the script might be amazing but the lighting is terrible so you can't even use it for your showreel so for me that was one thing that prompted me to create my own one Number two, the who. That rhymes. Okay, so who are you gonna need? Uh, obviously you're gonna need some fellow actors for doing some scenes, you're gonna need a filmmaker slash uh, videographer, uh, you're going to need an editor, someone who's gonna edit the video, a sound operator. Don't get all freaked out, and it sounds like a lot of things, but it's possible. And the number one way in which I'm going to advise you do this is to use your contacts wherever you are. Chances are, you're an actor. You have contacts, right? Think about like the last show you did. There was a director on that, right? Great, okay, so you know at least one director. Um, you probably know a bunch of actors from films that you've been in or shows that you've been in. Even if it's like community theater, you know actors, you know performers. If you know actors and performers, you probably know directors. If you know directors, you probably know writers. So you already know these people. I think it's really easy to sort of um, almost shoot yourself in the foot or like not realize the amount of opportunity that you are surrounded by, either people in a similar point in their career path or they're also looking for, for showreels for whatever reason or they want to update them or they just want to play around and make some scenes. Either way, these are people who have similar goals to you. So let's start organizing them and getting them together. Just have fun and get to know people and get to know other creatives and create something really fun together. And that means that there's an increased chance of you guys just having a good time on set as well. We had a really fun time. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nikki Licious. 
<laughs> Lol jokes, yeah. Uh, Samina just keeps making jokes that I should introduce myself as Nikki Licious, so we're doing this. Uh, update, so we've done, how many scenes have we done? Three? Three. three. We've done three scenes, we've got three more to go. How are we feeling, everyone? <laughs> Woo! They're going well, they're looking really good. <laughs> Nikki Licious is not becoming a thing. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, no, the scenes look really good. Done some cooking. I'm gonna catch a little bit of a scene, actually. I think that'd be really cool to show how we're doing it. Cool. I had a friend recently who contacted me for some advice. Um, he wanted to um, organize some filming of some short scenes that he'd written and he was really stuck as to where to go. I'm going to show you what I said to him because this is so applicable uh, to show real scenes. It's the same principles. Especially if you've got like low budget, I would recommend um, colleges and universities, so people who are still studying or recent graduates. So one way to do that is to go through, um, like to email back a college or university, be like, yo, I've got this um, opportunity that's going, there will be people 100% who want to get together and make work and things like that. And then also like never underestimate the connections at your own like place of education. Like, so this is different, this is theatre. But I've done so many theatre shows with people that I was like studying with or like in a similar point in our career at that time, if that makes sense, because we'd all just left together. To do that, social media, man, social media is the power. Like, set up, do you have Twitter? Do you use Twitter? Twitter is amazing for stuff like that. Hashtag cast and call, get everyone to retweet it. Um, there'll be people again who'll be really interested in, like, just directors. And they might not be like, you know, they might be still learning, but that's fine. Like, you can still get really good directors who are a bit earlier in their career um, in terms of, like, getting that stuff on. And then look at the what you've written as well and look at whether it's easy to film. But what, what I mean by that is, like, do you need, like, a 100 extras to make a scene realistic or is it, like, two people talking in a coffee shop? Because that can be done really easily. So look at the scenes as well. Cut down the budget of the scenes. Because, um, obviously, if you're doing, like, if you're filming a fantasy thing, that's different from your filming... I don't know, a really naturalistic scene where this guy's doing a monologue in a car. Do you know what I mean? So, to scale that down, do shout outs on social media. It's all about getting really good at getting people to come together for a common goal. So, like, once you make up your mind to do something, you're going to see how things like align. Like, suddenly someone will be like, I've got this editing software you can use. I've got this, this. I'm, I've got all this lighting equipment or whatever. So, do that for sure. Uh... Boom. Okay, the when, literally whenever you guys are free. I um, highly recommend you use Doodle, that's what we used. Uh, Doodle is a program where you, people can sort of just tick their availability and then everyone's availability is lined up. Not sponsored by Doodle, but Doodle, I mean, hit your girl up, hit your girl up. So um, I'm gonna link it down below if you've never used Doodle before and don't know what it is. It's really helpful and that's what we used. Again, guys, I'm just saying contact. So the how includes things like equipment, lighting equipment, sound equipment, uh, camera and recording equipment, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really blessed. And this is why I say don't, you know, don't always compare, but I'm really blessed in the fact that my housemate is a videographer um, and she was really happy to come on board. So what we all did was we all pitched together a certain amount of money so that we could then pay her with. really amazing um, but again if you don't know someone who has a camera and you don't have one yourself you can rent out a camera and you can rent them out by like day and these kinds of things you can also rent out sound equipment these sort of things by day um, and so obviously you know you are gonna pay some money but like you know you're just gonna have to pay money that's that's life in it but <laughs> again i think it's a good thing because you know you're not having to buy all this equipment you can just rent it out for the day that you're going to be filming if you want to find these people again you can use social media you can post to social media sites you can post to specific sort of sites for creatives uh, where people have put their profile previous examples of their work and you can find them that way or amazing beautiful housemate who was 
the videographer for this project um she's also you know like an actress and a model and she had so much work up in the event leading up to the day so we were only able to get together even though we lived together we were only able to get together the night before um so yeah there was some really fun and delirious times <laughs> of us trying to get together the shot list and hey everyone say hey <laughs> She wasn't expecting that. <laughs> she was just like, hi. This is my housemate. Hello. This is Fila. <laughs> um, so we are preparing. It's the night before um, the shoot, our show rule shoot, which is really fun. And I was suddenly like, oh my gosh, should I grab my camera and, and vlog? Because I want to show the reality of this because look at the time, guys. It's two in the morning and I'm here doing this, our like running time. And Smila is being amazing and doing all of the shot lists. How's it going? It's going good. Slowly but good. We're getting good. there. We're, we're getting, getting there. there. We're getting there. We've got like six scenes to do. Um, yeah, it's scary. I don't think we're going to sleep. This is going to be um, a lot of fun. All nighter, guys. Ooh. Work hard to go home. <laughs> Work hard to go home. Rise and grind. <laughs> all right, so we're going to see you tomorrow. And hopefully I will be less delirious. Bye. <laughs> making sure well I was making sure that we had all the props and things like that um, so yeah I would recommend getting together earlier ahead than we did it all turned out fine but that's my recommendation uh, just to save yourselves you know a night's sleep really just make sure you have what you need when you need it and you've organized your transport for your location and all those kinds of things camera rolling action No problem. So, what's up, Di? Please, call me Diane. And what's up? Well, this is what's up. It's a list of crimes committed in the local area in the last three months. Um, so let's take a mask though and then we'll come in for the doofly do doos. Um, where are you thinking to, oh, where are you thinking to put the camera for the wine shop? Oh, take these little bits here and maybe put them up in the corner. Do you have any calendar or any schedule of any sort? Like a, a diary? Yeah. I've got, I've got like, an, like an actual diary. Like a if you want to like scale, uh, like well, just think, and, uh, you know, your girl's on the Prosecco. Yeah, okay. That's not the mm. first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Next to the bottle. Yeah, next to the Greek mess. Yeah, at least Yeah, you might want it dirty. Rubby. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. I think they're Well dried. <laughs> that cheese candle is fantastic. Oh, yeah, a cheese candle. Can you candle. just put that in the middle of the uh, pattern? My yeah, flat, flat. student flat, was very messy. what are they going to be about this is super super important i would recommend that you get some professional writers on board to write your script there's nothing worse than a bad script and then you there as an actor now trying to make the script really good i mean why why make it harder for yourself on your show reel you know which is there to you know display your acting skills make it easy for yourself have some decent scripts um, get yourself a professional writer on board uh, we had some professional writers on board so that was really great we split up the scenes themselves i wrote two of the scenes actually and there's some really fun footage of me having a great time because I was getting just very happy when they were recording the scene that I wrote. I was like, yes. If you are looking for professional writers, I run a writing service for actors. So it's called Aqua and Co Monologues. I'm gonna link it down below. I write monologues for actors who are going into auditions and want something fresh and they don't just want old stale stuff that you know they've looked through before. I also write short scenes for showreels. Again, I'm gonna link it down below. You can read all the testimonials and all the people who are really happy with the scenes. We either talk about this and get something sorted out, or I go to the police. Which will it be? Just make sure that the scenes are good. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure they are well written, well crafted scenes. I'd also say stay away from anything that can lend itself to any melodramatic writing, um, especially if you're doing this on a low budget. So, for example, things like car chases and deaths on screen and all these kinds of things that would be quite hard to do on a low budget and just might not look really good. Now this is one I think that chips up a lot of people and lots of people get really worried about where are you going to film these scenes and is the location going to be super duper expensive? Um, the short answer, it can be. <laughs> it can be expensive, it can also be cheap and it can also be free. Make it super simple, two people chatting in a coffee shop, 
one person in a bar, um, people in a work office. Um, look out for spaces that you could use and then ask for permission for those spaces. And um, whether somebody's got a nice big garden that you could use, whether you could use the work office after hours and make sure you've got permission from work, obviously. So all these places can be free, just make sure you ask permission. You could use someone's house, maybe it's a scene that takes place in a living room, in a bathroom, um, wherever you want. Just make sure that you have the permission obviously and you can often find places that you could use for free people are often very happy to open up their homes once they know what the project is about and lots of people i'm sure will want to support you perhaps even family members use somewhere like say a local pub or a local you know whatever space it is that you want to use and offer to create them a promotional video in exchange for being able to use their space for a free or at least a discounted rate um i know some students who did that um, on a student movie that i was working on and the place was massive it was this huge huge ballroom and they got it for I think super super cheap and it was because they said they're going to make a promotional video as well obviously the people there I think you know they want to do a favor for young people but also they know they're going to get something in return because these people are you know they're good at what they do they're good at making films and they probably needed a promotional video at the same time once you have all these things in place all that's actually left for you to do is film and edit these videos yeah, so, so good I think I've read yeah. the book thief and I've watched it book. there's a film of it there is a film yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. And then this one, they're, they're creating a TV show for it. Are they? Yeah. I think Another it's BBC, play. doing a TV series. They do like His Dark Materials that opened mm. yesterday. Yeah, have you seen it yet? No, I've not watched it yet. I need to watch it. Yeah, I'm hoping that's going to be really good. My friend puppeteered one of the demons in it. Oh, cool. oh, and also I forgot to say they got me a little card to say thank you for organising. Uh, it was such a joy to organise it, honestly. Like, oh, and they're such amazing, talented people to work with, so... Yeah, honestly, it's such a such a joy. Cause like, there's you know on one hand like there's thinking, oh, I want to get show or footage. I'm gonna find a couple of friends and everyone's gonna do a scene of me, so I end up with loads. Um, but then there's also being like, oh, we're all in this together. Mm, yes, I know the dance moves. Um, and yeah, so everyone getting something really excellent out of it. And so it was such a pleasure to organise. Cause it's just such a good feeling. That everyone comes out with something great and they have come up with something great because they're amazing actresses and actors and act thespians and all the, all, all these words um so yeah we're home it was a long day it was a long day but it, I'm, I'm home now if you find this helpful, please click subscribe below. I make weekly videos all about the life of an actress, a writer, and an educator. And if you actually wanna see how our show reels turned out, uh, just come back here, keep your eyes peeled, because I'm going to post my show reel quite shortly. So I hope you join me on the journey. If you do manage to do this, please comment down below. If you've got any further questions as well, comment down below so happy to answer any of them for you it could actually also turn out a lot better in my opinion and also it's going to be quicker than waiting for footage um, from the films that you've done or are doing alongside obviously once you get those films use that for your show reel um, but in the meantime i think it's always good to be proactive and do what you can do and have fun with it that's all for now that's it that's it we did it i'll see you next time for more inspirational videos for young creatives bye